Hello everybody, uh, this video is going to be really awesome, it's going to be a continuation on methods, although this time we're going to be working with lists. Lists. I, I always struggle like saying that, I don't know why. But anyways, anyways uh, we're going to be going through some of the most common and most useful methods for lists. So first, we have to start by, of course, making a list. So I want to make a list for a, um, a secret language, right? I'll just make it SL for short, secret language. And here is the syntax to make a list. And then everything within this list gets uh, quotes, right? Pretty sure you got this, uh, this much so far. We'll just give it like five items, and we'll just put some random crap in here. Uh, take it right now. Uh, we do. Yo mama got swag. Left or right glove? That's the question, guys. That is the question. In bed! Alright, so here's our list, right? Now, the first method I want to talk about is append. And we actually used this a while ago when we were working with lists. So you'll probably recognize it. Maybe. Hopefully. This is the, this is the uh, method. So we were actually using a method before I even really explained what a method really was. So basically the way this works is you say what we want to do, do our, our verb on, and then what the verb is. So basically we, we, we want, oh dang it, my stupid furnace turned on. I gotta go turn that crap off. Alright, I'm back and I have no idea where I stopped. But anyways, this is what we want to do, this is what we want to do it on. So we want to append to the secret list. And then whatever's in the parentheses is what we want to append. So this is the object, this is the verb, and this is uh, the parameters or the uh, arguments of what we are going to append. So we could put on, let's say, just like, oops, I already got the quotes there. Just random, yeah, yeah. All right, and then what we can do is go SL. Here's, um, just to see if it worked, we could print it. We don't have to use print, we can just type it out, but this work. So now, when we look at it, we see we have here uh, at the end. So that is how append works. Another uh, cool method is count. So the way this one works is just like this. And then within here, you put a uh, item, and then it will count how many times it is in the list. So I can be like, take it right now, and it should return one, because there's one of them in the list. If this was in the list multiple times, this number would be not one, but something else. Yeah, obviously. All right, so another cool one is um, it's called extend. And in order to use this, we're going to need another list. So let's make a list. We'll make it legit because all my lists are legit. I'm legit. You're legit. We're all legit. Everyone's legit. And within legit is going to be pie and pizza. And it's just going to be one. It's not going to be two separate items. And then uh, we get, let's actually add something to that. So let's go legit append. And let's let's append. Uh, let's go grape juice. Okay, so now we have the uh, list of pie and pizza and grape juice. So now what we can do is we can go secret list dot extend, and then within parentheses we can put the list that we want to extend on to secret list. So let's go legit. So what basically what this did is it took this legit list and it combined it with the secret list. So secret list now has a couple more things. It has pie and pizza and grape juice. And you can see if, if we type legit, that one stays the same. It did not change. So basically we just took legit and we added it on to secret list. Pretty cool, I know, right? All right, so now uh, what else? Uh, I guess we could go with yeah, index. So index is going to tell us a location of a certain word or item. So I could be like index of yo mama got swag, and it's going to tell me two. And if we look at that, zero, one, two. It is correct, so that is a good thing. All right. So you guys are probably understanding how methods kind of work now. You see, you just put what we want to do 
this is the method itself this is what we're doing it on and most methods require arguments that are given to it so let's go uh, another one let's use insert this one actually requires two uh, arguments so let's right here let's put secret list period insert and within here we are going to give it a um, index number and then we're going to give it what we want to put into the list. So we're inserting, uh, let's put no, no, no. We're going to insert no, no, no within secret list at index two. So if you figure out where that would be, looking up here, it'd be zero, one, two. So it should be like right here. Let's try it. And then it doesn't return anything, so what we can do is we can put secret list to see what, where it is. So now it's Take it right now, so we do, no, no, no. So it, it actually did work, which is awesome. All right, so now I want to teach you another one, which is pop. And what that's going to do is it's going to take off the last uh, list item. So let's do it. We go secret list dot pop. And you can, tell, you can see that it returns it. So you might want to ask, like, oh, well, did it actually alter the original? Well, let's find out. See your list. You can see that grape juice is no longer on there. So it actually returned it and it altered the original. So this is not one of those that we're going to have to be like like that or something ridiculous. So if we did that, it would change things drastically. So what we do is we just put that and it's good to go. And um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let's go. Oh, I got, I got a couple more here. Yeah, let's, let's see. We got remove. So what remove is, you can put a specific one. So I can be like remove Swedu, and then I can print it, and you can see that Swedu is no longer there. Uh, another cool one is uh, reverse, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just reverses everything. So now pie and pizza goes to the first part. This goes second. This goes third. This goes fourth. Da, 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 da. So what was at the beginning at the first time is now at the end. And what was at the end the first time is now at the beginning. And the absolute last one I'm going to show you is SL sort. So this SL is just the uh, name of our list. It could be whatever. And what this does is it sorts the, the list items alphabetically. So let's print it out. So N T H. Okay, you might be like, whoa, what the heck? Those aren't in alphabetical order. But you see. Uh, capital letters have priority. So you can see these both start with capitals. So they start first. N, becomes bef N comes before T. And then, once we get to the lowercase, H-I-L-P-Y. That makes perfect sense. So that's how the sort works. A lot of these, I mean, a lot of these things can also work for list with numbers. So like I could be like, number. And assign it the values... 6437 that number that number that number that number that number that number let's try it and then we can print out number and that's what it is and then what we can do is we can go number sort and then print out number and you can see negative 236773 3,000, 9,000. So that actually works for numbers too. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long too. Uh, I know I kind of talked about a whole bunch of things. But all of these are going to be super useful for you and your programming. So just uh, write these down or memorize them or what. And then when you need them, you can use them. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.